out of sight. He had stealed its voice and snuffed out its life. But God has always had a people. The powerful current of a rushing river is not diminished because it's forced to flow underground. The purest water is the stream that bursts crystal clear into the sunlight after it has forced its way through solid rock. There have been charlatans who, like Simon the Magician, sought to barter on the open market that power which cannot be bought or sold. But God has always had a people, men who could not be bought, and women who were beyond purchase. God has always had a people. There have been times of affluence and prosperity when the church's message has been nearly diluted into oblivion by those who sought to make it socially attractive, neatly organized, and financially profitable. It has been gold-plated, draped in purple, and encrusted with jewels. It has been misrepresented, ridiculed, lauded, and scorned. These followers of Jesus Christ have been, according to the whim of the times, elevated as sacred leaders and murdered as heretics. Yet through it all, there marches on that powerful army of the meek, God's chosen people, who cannot be bought, flattered, murdered, or steal. On through the ages they march. The church, God's church triumph, alive and well. My broken-hearted friend, old saint, you're not alone and forgotten. The church is alive. Busy mother, cast your cares on Jesus. It's alive, young student. You're not alone in serving the Lord. Cynical skeptic, you haven't killed God with your noisy unbelief. He's still alive. So family of God, raise your hands and praise the Lord, for the church is still alive. Let the church be the church. 